हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी सेक्स ऑर्गन्स ऑफ ह्यूमन्स एज वेल एज प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी सेक्सुअल कैरेक्टर्स सो फर्स्ट अबाउट प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी सेक्स ऑर्गन्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स वी कैन बेटर अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डिफ्रेंसेज सो दिस इज गिवेन हेयर प्राइमरी सेक्स ऑर्गन एंड सेकेंडरी सेक्स ऑर्गन प्राइमरी सेक्स ऑर्गन फॉर ह्यूमन बींग्स दिस इज नोन एज गोनेट्स एज वी ऑलरेडी नो इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन देर आर टू इंडिविजुअल्स मेल एंड फीमेल एंड दिस इज रिलेटेड विद टॉपिक सेक्सुअल डायमोरफिज इन प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट सेक्सुअल डायमोरफिज सो सेक्सुअल डायमोरफिज इज अ फिनोमिना इन विच एनी टू इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ सेम स्पीसीज कैन बी डिफ्रेंशिएटेड नॉट ओनली ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर सेक्सेज बट ऑल्सो on the basis of other morphological characters so this is very clear in case of human species so we are discussing about gonads testes and ovaries these are two gonads for male this is testis for female this is ovary now in case of secondary sex organs so all other organs that are related with sex but they are not gonads they considered as secondary sex organs for example epididymis vas deferens urethra a number of glands like prostate glands these are considered as male secondary sex organs same for female this is fallopian tube uterus vagina cervix all these are considered as secondary sex organs now what is the basis on that we can differentiate in between so primary sex organs are those which are related with production of gametes as well as production of sex hormones while secondary sex organs are not related with gamete production not related with production of hormones but they produces some nutritive substances as well as lubricants that will help for movement of sperm ovum and for their nutritional purpose the fourth point which is given here as a difference is about primary sex organ they are under control of hormones which are produced or secreted by anterior pituitary gland anterior pituitary gland this also known as adeno hypophysis and this gland is located in our brain so by adeno hypophysis or anterior pituitary there are two hormones that are responsible for regulation of testes and ovaries or gonads in human beings lh this is luteinizing hormone fs fsh this is follicle stimulating hormone lh in case of human male is also known as icsh that is interstitial cells stimulating hormone this is only for male for female this term is not used lh and fsh they both are considered as gonadotropic hormones or gonadotropins because they regulate the activities of gonads when we discuss about secondary sex organs they are controlled by the hormones which are secreted by gonads so by male gonads or testes there is secretion of androgens that is a group of hormone that is a category of hormones in which testosterone is the major one for females or female gonads that is ovary there is secretion of estrogen and progesterone here testosterone is related with secondary sexual characters of male while estrogen is related with secondary sexual characteristics of female progesterone is known as pregnancy hormone now primary and secondary sexual characteristics of male and female of human beings so simply what are primary sexual characteristics this is related with sex organs any change in these sex organs that we discuss as primary sex organs ovary testes secondary sex organs like fallopian tube uterus for female and in case of male this is vas deferens epididymis if there is any change occurs in these both 
primary as well as secondary sex organs that is known as primary sex characteristics now secondary sexual characteristics of male and female so again this is given here on the basis of differences first for secondary sexual characteristics of male presence of facial hair beard and mustaches this presence is mainly because of male sex hormone that is testosterone hormone that is related with the group which is known as androgens so this is mainly present in human beings male in some rare cases this may also be present in female usually this is absent in female but sometimes this may be present that is because of hormonal imbalance next secondary sexual character of male so they have undeveloped breast this is because of rudimentary mammary gland so mammary gland this is milk producing glands which is characteristic feature of mammalians and human beings are one of them so in male breast is un undeveloped this is because of rudimentary mammary gland while in female breast is developed that is just because of functional mammary gland in case of human male skin is rough hairy while in human female skin is less hairy usually and this is soft and smooth next is about larynx so what is larynx larynx this is also known as sound box that is a part of human respiratory system after pharynx there is a opening which is known as glottis and after glottis there is glottis that is opening of windpipe trachea so just after pharynx there is larynx and this larynx is projected in human male this projection is because of cartilages which are present in human males and this projection is regulated by or dominated by male sex hormone that is testosterone while this is very poorly developed or projected in human females now about body so in case of human male body is more muscular while in female this is comparatively less muscular pelvis is narrow in case of human male while this is broad what is pelvis so this is lower lower girdle we can say or posterior girdle pelvic girdle or hip joint where femur and coxal bones are fused that region is known as pelvis bone so pelvis is narrow in case of human male while broader in case of human female this is because of accumulation of fatty substances shoulders here in case of human male broad shoulders they are related with pectoral girdle so human males they have broad shoulders while in female there is narrow shoulders next is about voice so in case of human male their voice is low pitch while in female their voice is high pitch next is about basal metabolic rate bmr so basal metabolic rate is very high because of high metabolic activities while in females this is comparatively low because of less muscular body or they are comparatively less metabolically active last is about breathing so in human male breathing is mainly abdominal there is also thoracic breathing but mainly in human males they breathe by abdominal activities while in females mainly there is thoracic breathing